beautiful evening here in Brossard, Quebec. There's still old cars and trucks coming in here at the show. This is a weekly show, Friday night show in the South Shore of Montreal. I just did a fantastic video. Well, I think it's fantastic. It's an amazing 59 Mercury. I almost said Monarch because this was, Monarch was the Canadian version. I'm blown away. But also what's really cool I saw come in was this 65 Chrysler New, uh, Newport over here. Also a very nice car. Way more common than, than, than Mercury, but still very sharp looking car. Uh, this was also uh, the car of the year down in the States. You can see for a lot of reasons. I mean, styling wise, it was just a beautiful looking car. I mean, just a beautiful lines. Um, the car had that look like it was in motion. Uh, you look at look at what they did with the door handles. They like incorporated them in the trim. It was very smart. It, it didn't, uh, you know, break away sort of like the styling of it, you know. Uh, Okay, the guy's got a bit of a rat rod thing going, but that's okay. It's still, it's still other than uh, whatever, not having the hubcaps on it or the rims black. It's still original, very original. Look at that. It's the same exact color of a 68 Polera I filmed, um, I don't know, an hour ago or something. Oh, man, oh, man. This is probably another low mileage car. You can see the interior is totally original. It's got some tears in the seat, but so what? It gives it some age, you know, a little bit of character some kind of covering on the rear seat. I imagine it was probably an old seat cover on there too. Look at that, there's that step side I saw before. Which I think is the same one as I saw before. It's a long box? No, that's a different one I think. I saw one before, it was a long box. Holy shit man, blown away man. I have to say, I go to the show in Laval a lot, which is north of the island of Montreal, or south of the island of Montreal, but I don't know, the caliber of cars down here seems to be better for some reason, I don't know why. Now this is another old day I would buy in a heartbeat. Just love it. Look at that. Sharp, sharp looking edges, you know, it just look like it could fucking cut you, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, I said it was a Newport. Silly me, it's a 300. Pardon my French. Shit, I fucked that up. Look, there it is, right there, 300. Jet fuel goes in here. <laughs> just kidding. High octane fuel anyway, because it's a 300, so that means it's probably a 383 in that thing. But then again, if it's a Canadian model, it actually could be a 318 in this. That would have been typical, actually, of Canadian cars having the lesser engines, you know? Yeah, she's a beauty. I knew a guy had one of these, actually. Yeah. Very nice guy. He was a mechanic. There's a 70 Cadillac limo that I filmed uh, last year. Look at this, I'm a little bit elevated here, it's very nice. Got Suavecito uh, by Malo playing in the background there. Got a fucking uh, Prevo coach in the background there with the Volvo motor idling away there. <laughs> uh, we're gonna sit down here. And there's a 78 Caprice I filmed also that's all original and actually I used to have a 78 Caprice just like this. But mine was more of a deluxe model. Jesus Christ, Eli, if you're watching this, man, damn it, I wish you could have came. You would have freaked. You would have fucking freaked, man. Look at that. What's that? Pontiac Parisienne or 2 plus 2? Yeah, I've seen that car before. Pretty nice. I don't really care for the black painted bumpers, but, you know, whatever. To each their own, eh? There you go, guys. Very nice. Very good. Very happy. <laughs> <laughs> 